Welcome. In front of me is the Apple Reno 5Z and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So I'm going to begin with a couple really simple ones, for instance starting off with the dark mode, which you can find under the settings. And then by going into the display and brightness you will have the dark and light mode switch. But more importantly, you do have the option to select it to be the auto switch. When enabled, it gives you two options, so sunrise to or sunset to sunrise, or custom, which will allow you to set your own timer. And this will dynamically switch between light and dark mode, based on either the time or well, sunrise to sunset. And that is probably one of the better options. Uh, at least I personally do like it. Uh, but if you prefer to just use like dark mode all the time, that's fine too. You can switch it right here. Now moving on to the another option is going to be the video color enhancer which is also under the display and brightness. By scrolling down you'll find it right over here. By default it is off and it does have this kind of like side by side comparison uh, how it affects the image so it just adds a little bit more uh, brightness to the image and saturation making the image look a little bit more vibrant and pop out a little bit more. So I'm going to enable it. It might look a little bit better than it does normally. Now next thing that I wanted to show was the uh, status bar notifications uh, or the icons more precisely. So this is accessible in notifications and status bar. Now unfortunately you won't be able to turn off all the icons if you wanted to, uh, kind of like we were able to do uh, on Android I think 10 or maybe even older one. There was a hidden option for that. Uh, nowadays it's completely removed again. I don't know why. I personally really like that option. Uh, but we do have a bit more limited version but still one that you can access. So by going into status bar you'll see you have a bunch of uh, different toggles right here. Obviously those, not, those are not all the toggles but you can turn off some that you might not want. So do not disturb mode things like NFC. I did turn off NFC, uh, turn on NFC, just so it is visible in the status bar and I can just oop, toggle it off. Now keep in mind the NFC is still running, it's still on, so if you pull down your notifications and you check it, you can see it is still enabled. It's just not showing up in your status bar anymore. To be honest, some toggles, if you use it, if you have it enabled all the time, you should have an option to just turn off the, the damn toggle so it's or not toggle but the actual icon so it's not cluttering your status bar i personally do like a clean look on my phone so this this specific option is something that i really like to see on basically every phone sadly most of them don't have it and apparently if they do like in here they're limited but still it's nice to actually see anything associated with it so if you're the type of person that likes to clean it up have as minimal clutter in your status bar as possible. Uh, right here you can remove a bunch of those icons and have more clean look. Now moving on to the next option which is also going to be in the notifications and status bar is going to be the uh, notifications history. So normally if you sometimes do then like clean all notifications uh, and maybe you just realize that you cleaned something that you didn't want to got removed you can enable the notification history by going into uh, more settings and you will have here notification history you do need to turn it on first and from now on it will keep a history of it i'm not exactly sure how how far it goes back uh, with the history is it like in days or how many notifications so that's something that you need to test and obviously i don't have any notification right now to showcase this with because none of these actually i'm gonna try this if i interact with any of these hold that nope that won't work so unfortunately i have no way of showing this off to be honest so yeah uh, but obviously it will just show you the history of your notification so each one of these will be basically visible in the history right here and one another uh, thing if you're planning to view the history uh, you will need to go into these settings right here to actually view it from here i don't think it shows up anywhere else so that is a little bit of a downside i would say but still uh, it's one of those options that you might need to utilize 
uh, not so often, so whenever you need to, you can just navigate in there and check it out. Now, moving on to the next thing, it's going to be the smart sidebar. If you realize you do have this kind of like Samsung-ish uh, sidebar right here, you can pull it out and it has a bunch of toggles right here and a couple applications. Uh, you can see drag and up outside sidebar to open it and split screen, which is a pretty nice feature. We do have things like screenshots or screen recordings as well. So if you want to customize this or maybe turn it off, do whatever, uh, you can do so by going into the settings and from here you will navigate to special features. So let's go back to the main settings and then scroll down, special features, and here you'll find smart sidebar. And obviously you have the toggle to turn it on or off, uh, show apps names if you want to, you can select how visible it is so you can make it a bit more transparent where you can barely see it right now or you can make it just a bit more tr uh, visible you can also hide it though it didn't really hide anything for some reason oh it's only when the video or game app is uh, displaying a full screen so it will hide it then though hiding doesn't mean that you can't access it it just means that it won't be visible which is probably a good thing to have it enabled and it looks like we don't have much settings in here so let's see if i want to actually edit this huh i guess it will just probably show recent apps or apps that you might use often because i don't really see a, a way to to change what kind of apps show up here which is a little bit weird now yeah, so it just shows us how to use it so yeah um now moving on to the next thing and leaving this one behind we have the uh, screen off gestures so these will allow you to set up, as the name would apply, uh, gestures when the phone is locked. So probably one of the more one uh, one of the gestures that I would probably utilize more would be the flashlight gesture. Now let's actually find it. It was in yes gestures and motions, which is in special features. You can get redirected, and you have screen of gestures right at the top. You do need to first enable it, and then it gives you a couple different things that you can launch. Now, like I said, uh, the one that I pro primarily would use would be the uh, V, which is for a flashlight. But you also have a couple other ones like join O on the screen to open a camera, uh, double tap to wake uh, or turn off the screen, and music controls with... Uh, is it use two fingers or draw? Okay, so you basically draw uh, on a screen guess uh, these kind of gestures to go forward or back personally not my cup of tea but if you want to utilize it turn it on and you also can apparently add gestures right here so you have different uh, choices so i can select what to draw or maybe how to swipe uh, a letter and then you can actually assign a specific function to it outside of the ones that were provided by default uh, before. Here you can choose if, for instance, you want to unlock the device, if you want to call someone, or if you want to open up an app. So just to kind of showcase this, I'm gonna open up, or I'm gonna select to open up Chrome, which is uh, with W. Okay, so we have two gestures. We have the V for flashlight, and we have the W for um, Chrome. Now, one thing to mention when it comes down to things like uh, opening up apps with the gesture, you'll probably see it tells you to enter a passcode just because the device has a lock screen. Now, if it wouldn't have a lock screen, it would automatically jump to the app. But if you have any kind of like fingerprint or anything like that, you do need to go through an extra step, which kind of defeats the purpose of it. But in terms of things like the uh, flashlight, so you can see it's off. And you can see it's right now shining. So you can see this kind of brightness right here. And there's also a little sound. I'm not sure if you can hear that. So I'm going to bring it up closer and draw the shape. Hopefully you will be able to hear it. So hopefully that was uh, audible. 
there we go so those would be the screen of gestures now with that being said uh that's basically all the tweaks or settings and stuff like that that i had to show you and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching